Hey, what's going on guys? How y'all doing? So I've heard through the grapevine that some of you guys are having trouble with shielded enemies and namely floor seven in the abyss. So today I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk a little bit about the shields and how you can take down these enemies because uh, hint, hint, it's not all about your damage and I'm going to prove it to you right here. So without further ado, let's hop right into Genshin Impact and we're going to start right where the problem is we're going to be going into the spiral abyss and i'm going to be proving to you guys that damage is not what you're missing it is elements elements are super important when it comes to shields now you know basic premise when it comes to shields the shields are going to be uh you know taking a little bit more damage it's exactly what a shield sounds like so uh there are a little bit of more in-depth details when it comes to these shields but i'm going to prove to you guys right here that damage does not matter when it comes to shields so floor seven is the one that everyone says is actually the hardest floor when it comes to the abyss so uh this first floor you know this is where all your fatui skirmishers are in here you got your big boys your fat boys you got your cryo gun or your hydro gun or your skirmisher these guys are really hard to take down if you're not doing it correctly so just to prove you guys that it has nothing to do with damage i'm gonna roll in there with two units i'm gonna roll in there with my highest geared character which is gene she's level 80. we're also gonna be rolling in with everyone's <laughs> the character everyone loves to hate on or running in with amber okay we're gonna set this up just like this just so we can hop in there and we will get it started in just a second all right so we got the challenge started we were just oh there goes the shield all right so now i'm gonna get in there after he jumps up we're gonna get in there pop him a little bit with gene hit him with some of these dodge around here hit him with some of those hit him with a skill bam oh look at that your shield is still really high now you can see that i am doing a little bit of damage to his health bar not much uh we will talk about that a little bit later but you can see his shield is still real real high so he's gonna jump over to me real quick let's dodge okay now we switch over to amber we get a charge shot and Look at that, half his shield gone with a level 10 amber. So clearly you can see element is everything when it comes to these shields. It has nothing to do with your damage output. So when it comes to which shields uh, are damaged by which elements, uh, there are kind of two categories that we need to talk about here. So there are really two types of shields, like I said. There are the Fatui skirmishers, which we just saw there. There are also those shields that are just kind of running around the world. These are gonna be your abyss mages these are going to be your miniaturals and these are also going to be well they're not in the book but the giant slimes those will also have a shield they do work slightly differently uh there's not really a big difference overall you're going to use the same elements but there is a slight difference when it comes to the fatui skirmishers so what elements can we expect to use in order to beat these shields well it's kind of simple uh, when it comes to hydro shields, like your hydro abyss mages, you're gonna be using cryo, or once you start freezing them, it'll take off the shield more. Uh, cryo enemies are weak to pyro. Pyro is weak to hydro. Electro is weak to cryo as well. It is a little bit different moving forward though. Uh, and geo is weak to geo, claymores, and overloaded. So that is your basic kind of description of which shields are weak. Now, when it comes to Fatui's though, it is a little bit different. So Fatui's, your Hydro Fatui's are not actually weak directly to Cryo. They are actually weak to Electro Charge. So it is a little bit different. I'm not sure why I did test this uh, and Electro Charge is the way to go to take down the Hydro Skirmishers. And like I kind of showed you before, some of the damage was getting through the shield, but it was a lot less than if we knocked the shield down. So if your enemies do have a lot of health, it is definitely beneficial to get that shield down. But if they're looking really weak, you might be able to just get a couple hits in and just kill them without worrying about the shield. But overall, that is how you deal with the shields. It's not as hard as you think. As you saw right there, a level 10 Amber took out half the shield of a level 70 something skirmisher. So again, it's all about elements, not necessarily elemental damage, just elements over damage all right guys so that is the video when it comes to shields hopefully this helps you in the world of genshin impact hopefully it helps you clear that floor seven of the abyss let me know down in the comment section if it did if this was something you didn't know about and it helped you clear that floor let me know down in the comments below but guys that is all i have for today thank you so much for watching if you want to see some more content from me you can head over to my twitch page twitch.tv slash xjazz207 i stream there three times a week monday wednesday friday at 8 p.m est and if you want to support us right here on youtube go ahead and click that red subscribe button guys that's all i got thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video peace